Hey guys, welcome back. Today I thought I would vlog, even though it's literally the day is over. Look at my hair, I'm loving it. I slept in plaits last night because I washed my hair, but I didn't go to bed with wet hair. I my hair was dry, then I slept with plaits in. Oh my god, you just saw all that mess behind, but I love it. Do you know what? I suit curlier hair way more. Like, I really, really do. Like, straight hair just does not look good on me. Um, But I've just got a few Instagram pictures, which is why I look, like, dolled up. I've got a necklace on. Just took a picture of me in this top, which is from ASOS, which I absolutely love. But now we're going to go to Tesco and do food shop because we literally have no food in this house and i'm literally not joking we have we don't have anything we need to get stuff for dinner i'm also gonna get some stuff that i can have for like lunch because lunch is just lunch drives me insane like i literally hate having to decide what to have for lunch so yeah are you ready? So a trip to Tesco is needed. Should I give you a quick OTD? Should I? Mr. also plaited her hair, but I think hers went a bit wrong. Yeah, because I did it with wet hair, <clears throat> that's right. The only mirror that we have is in, like, full length is upstairs, is my sister's one. So this jumper is actually my brother's. I don't even know if he knows that I've got it, but I've been wearing it, so whatever. But it's really cool. I'm pretty sure this is from ASOS. I like it. It looks like vintage. And then my jeans are also from ASOS. These jeans are the best fitting jeans, like, ever. Like, they're so nice and, like, tight on the waist, but, like, perfect, like, straight leg. I just love these jeans so much. And then my shoes are Air Force, which are literally brand new, but I've already managed to get them a bit dirty, which is really annoying, but it's downstairs. We're gonna go Tesco, and I'll tell you guys what we meal. Need to make chalk this time. We take a pen with us so to cross off. off. Right? Yeah, that's a good idea, Amra. So, so good idea. The meals that I have planned. So I think tonight we're probably having stir fry. I think. And then I want to get stuff to make mac and cheese, which I want to film, just like a cook with me. Or I might do for a cook with me my chicken, char grilled chicken ramen noodles, which I also love. Sorry, your phone's over there. Yeah, I took it off the truck. Got a list, got a pen, and we're gonna go. Look at the lighting. It's so nice and sunny. We also need like snacks. Do you know what I mean? Like, we just don't have any snacks. Like, I just need snacks. And I might get some gyozas as well, because that's Mommy, do we have any, always a um, shout. Tesco's. And I've been wanting to get some flowers. Just some like, I don't know, they just look pretty in the house. And then these ones are all like richy. So I'm going to make a cute little, little BK when I get back. But I just thought, they're so cute just to put on like the kitchen counter. These flowers are a vibe, guys. And some of them aren't like even fully open yet. So check out Richie's flowers. So we're back. From Tesco. What? <laughs> so back from Tesco now, just at a massive shop. And I met one of you guys at Tesco. The girl who was scanning our stuff, she serving was like. There's a term for that. Serving you. Scanning my stuff. The girl who was um serving us and like, you know. <laughs> Oh my god, my camera's a bit broken. <laughs> Me and my sister just had a fight. Anyway, and the girl who was serving us, she was like, oh my god, I recognise you. Are you came out. I was like, yeah. Um, so that was pretty surreal. So hi for watching. I mean, you're probably not, but that was pretty cool, you know. Um, anyway, I've just realised my camera. <laughs> my camera's kind of broken. One of the screws has come out. Come out. <laughs> So I'm gonna have to get some duct tape on it because really I'm not looking. <laughs> I'm not looking to break my camera. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, I know what you mean. Right, I'm gonna shut the camera off. So for dinner, we are having this, which is the Lloyd Grossman red Thai curry sauce. I know this is like such a lazy way to make red Thai curry, but apparently they had this the other week and it was really good. So we're gonna have that with chicken. We actually have speakers up there. So I'm just playing some Justin Bieber. It's great. So these little frames, which have a picture of me and my sister in, and then that one's my brother. Um, we literally have had these little frames for so many years now. I wanna say like more than like 10 years maybe even like 15 and they were kind of like a gray silver color and we just spray painted them 
gold so like they match the kitchen and like look how cute they look next to my plant which asos really kindly gifted me the plant we've managed to keep it alive asos literally are one of my favorite brands ever i love asos so that's just the cutest thing about look how cute they look okay. Yum. hi guys so just had dinner it was literally insane i would highly recommend getting that sauce if you want to make a quick little thai or say a red a red thai curry but i'm actually i'm now gonna take off my makeup and get ready to get into bed and it's not even that late it's nine o'clock <sighs> but i'm so tired i'm literally so exhausted and i need to like finish off editing the second moving vlog which i really do need to finish off um if you guys want to know the best thing to take off waterproof mascara it's literally this it's literally the best and it just takes off waterproof mascara it's so quick also can i just say like how insane it is when i like meet viewers and stuff like out in public just because for me like i always think like no one literally watches my videos and no one knows like who i am or anything and then like when i meet one of you it's just like i am 100 percent way more excited than like any of you and like it really just like makes my heart bus which i know is kind of like cringe to say but it really genuinely is true like i literally just get so happy it's also so weird as well because obviously we were wearing masks because we were in tesco so you only literally saw like the the top of my eyes so it's crazy that someone even recognized me from my eyes and my eyebrows you know right anyway that's the majority of my makeup off and i'm now gonna go do the rest in the bathroom i mean the lighting's the lighting's not great in here so please just please just ignore that but I'm just going to take off the rest of my makeup using this, which is the Superdrug own brand. And I know like a lot of people use the Liz Earl hot cloth cleanser. But I've used that before and I just think this is literally just as good. I do not notice a difference at all. It doesn't break me out or anything. Like I just love it. It does the job. So this is literally Superdrug. This is the vitamin E one, but I also used the one which is then the green. I really just sort of rub it in to my skin and making sure, you know, it's all gonna come off. Wet the muslin cloth with hot water. I mean, this one's kind of dirty because I used this yesterday, but. And then I literally just, I literally just take the hot cloth and just take all the makeup off with it. And there you go, it all literally comes off. I mean, I go in with another cleanser just because I think it's important to like double cleanse your face, just to make sure it all really is off. And the second cleanser I use is actually so good like i've recommended it to so many people to get it because it is really really good so this is the la roche pose epiclar h cleansing cream and this is so good so you literally need about like that much and this has lasted me honestly so 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 long like i feel like i'm still on my first one of these maybe even second but i've been using it for way more than a year now so i literally love it and then with this, I literally just go over, not around my eyes though. And then to really just like cleanse your face a second time. It's so good and I feel like it really helps control like my breakout spell since I've been using this because we used to break out so much. And since using it, I feel like it helps control the breakout. Okay, and then just dry my face. Oh, there we go. I feel so much better now that i've got my makeup off it's honestly the best part of the day and then some nights i will use this which i probably should use this every single day but sometimes i'm a little bit lazy with my skincare which obviously is bad so this is a gasna la roche Everclar lotion so this is a micro exfoliant and an anti-blackhead lotion so you just get a cotton pad and just rub it all over your face and this is also really good because it gets on more excess makeup which you know what I am gonna do it I'm gonna not be lazy I'm gonna get my cotton pads yeah you get some of this onto a cotton pad just like that and then just literally go over be careful around the eyes though because I feel like this kind of like burns when I go around my eyes so I just literally take it around everywhere especially around my nose as well I feel like it's a really good place to do this because obviously it's a micro exfoliant and anti blackheads I honestly love La Roche Posay as a skincare brand I think they're really 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 good a bit more pricey but I really do genuinely think they are good and they have definitely helped my skin a lot so yeah that's my little skincare routine also this bathroom is like half complete like look at the shower it's all like broken inside um but obviously we can use like the sink and stuff so yeah that is my little 
skincare routine hey guys so it's actually another day now but i thought i'd pick up the camera again just because i'm having a nice little content day that's my dog barking please ignore the fact that literally like half my nails have like pinged off i don't know what's going on i don't have any new ones to replace these with so ignore that but i'm literally just planning out some outfits that i want to get some pictures in i've just done my makeup which i'm really happy with my makeup today i don't know why i feel like i've just done really good job especially around the eyes i don't know i just like my makeup today um but it's actually so sunny outside it's the march heat wave that we've all been waiting for it's finally here ignore my hair by the way i'm obviously not going to keep it like this yeah it's the heat wave it's like 22 degrees out there it's so nice and hot i feel like i need to go sit outside at some point today um obviously my actually goes out for a bit but i don't want to ruin my makeup at the same time but yeah i need i've been needing some vitamin is it vitamin d i don't even know what it is but you know you know what i mean one of those vitamins i've been craving it and it was just so nice yesterday we went for a nice long walk we met up with my cousin and my auntie outside went for a walk it was honestly the nicest things yeah i'm really just enjoying this weather hopefully it lasts i mean the weather for next week's forecast is just snow so that doesn't tell you how bipolar the uk's weather is i don't know what will like honestly it's such a joke but i even had an iced coffee this morning which i am still drinking but i love an iced coffee but at the same time do they make anyone else like feel very like suddenly a coffee makes me need to go for a number two in the toilet like instantly it's just like an instant thing that as soon as i have a coffee i need to go to the toilet so that's the only downside but other than that i love an iced coffee on a summer's day like this gorgeous it's actually been a good couple of days since i last vlogged and picked up the camera um and my hair i haven't washed it since but i literally just waved it with my molly may waver which i'll take out now so you guys can see i just waved it i went over it because all of that hair that i did i know i said that i plaited my hair and stuff but yeah all that i did it turned into frizz so i literally just went over my hair and i love it like my hair is actually really greasy but at the same time like i feel like the greasier your hair and the more like this sounds gross but the dirtier your hair the better it works when you style it so yeah i'm really feeling the wavy hair i think it's because it's like summery outside it's nice weather and like wavy hair just makes me makes me think of summer so i've really been into waving my hair actually i am really proud of myself because i haven't put heat on my hair in like a good four or five days um obviously because i did because i put those plaits in i'm going to show you the outfits that i want to get pictures in today i mean you think it's so easy to get like three different outfits in one day but it's actually really difficult and yeah but i'm going to try because it's like a day that i have free because tomorrow i just want to do uni work because i have a lot to do this cute little outfit which is from asos literally all of this is from asos i love this new top that i got and then this outfit i thought i'd do like a little blue vibe so i've got just this top from a pretty little thing and then my favorite favorite ever asos jeans and then for the last outfit i mean obviously if you want to see all these outfits properly styled go check out my instagram but i've got another bag from asos this is right up my street this is from pretty little thing which i just love this i'm all about as you can tell i'm really trying to wear color and stuff this is the aim for today but obviously we'll see how this goes because pictures like it's all about lightning lightning lighting i just got distracted then because I'm, that's my bin bag for now um but yeah i am gonna try and get as much as i possibly can so yeah so as i predicted i only got a picture in one of the outfits which i still got underneath quickly went downstairs and had like a little snack because i can't believe it's already nearly half five where has the time gone like it literally just a second ago it was one o'clock and suddenly it's half five so i've actually really last minute decided i'm gonna film a like a whole summer outfits video because i just thought i'm trying on these outfits anyway and they're really cute for like spring summer so i'm gonna film all this today and try and get it up i thought it'd be quite a good video and i don't really have any other hauls planned and you guys seem to be loving my hauls at the moment so yeah also these earrings are so cute these are from shein literally they were like a pound i'm not even kidding i mean obviously they're not the best quality but for like a pound i mean you can't really complain and i just think they're really cute i just posted my instagram picture which i wanted to upload let me show you guys i mean if you don't is that gonna say no i mean if you don't already follow me on instagram and you're watching this video actually if you're not already subscribed i looked on my youtube analytics whatever it's called 
and 70% of people who watch my videos are not subscribed so if you're watching this and you're not subscribed please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a video but I'm really happy with how these turned out I literally guys these days I take every single one of my Instagram pictures on my own especially when I'm at home just because I can't be bothered to ask my sister and like sometimes she just doesn't want to do it so so yeah these are the two instagram pictures that i uploaded i really just am happy with the way they came out if you want to take pictures on your own when you're at home the key is getting one of those bluetooth clickers here's mine these little bluetooth clickers honestly like they'll be your best friend for when you need to take pictures on your own and especially that the weather's getting better like it makes it so much easier to get pictures because the lighting's nice and yeah i just hide this in my hand like when i'm taking pics when i'm posing and yeah no one can literally be able to tell you do need to make sure like you hide it well like in your hand or like behind like i don't know you know what i mean um but otherwise no one really sees it so yeah this is a lifesaver i also see actually if you don't have one of these a lot of people use the app lens buddy which i haven't downloaded which i probably should and i've seen people on tiktok use that and it's a really really good way again to get pictures on your own if you're struggling but yeah, i'm gonna film this video it's five o'clock i mean i am really glad that the clocks have changed and stuff because it's so much light outside for longer and it means that you have more daylight to film videos and stuff because before at this time it would already be dark it's so nice and bright outside hi guys just finished filming honestly i don't know why that was so exhausting like i think it's because it's literally it's 10 minutes to 7 i've only just finished um but hopefully that video like it was just a really last minute one i wasn't really gonna film it then i just thought like oh my god i thought it was such good outfit i may as well put them in a video oh my god my hair is so thick especially when i've waved it oh but yeah now i've got to clear up all of this mess and put everything back in my wardrobe i don't actually get to put all my clothes in my wardrobe i was gonna film like a whole organize my wardrobe with me and stuff but i don't know i feel like i just need to get it done and i keep putting it off because i'm like oh i don't have time so i feel like i'm just gonna organize it but yeah i need to like sort out all these clothes look how awful this mess is so i'm just gonna start putting things in my wardrobe so i'm super excited for dinner today although dinner today is if you're brown, you know. We're having roti. Our roti and brown dal is on the menu tonight. Don't ever really have roti anymore. I don't know why. Like, I actually don't mind it. And I'm kind of actually looking forward to eating that. Like, I prefer... I'm a brown dal kind of girl over a yellow dal. Like, yellow dal, I don't know what. It has a specific thing in it, which i don't really like i don't know what that spice or what it is we had red thai curry again last night which you would have seen earlier in the vlog which was from the other day and it was just so good and then the night before that we made like fresh mac and cheese and it was honestly so good like with roasted broccoli i love me some roasted broccoli i never really used to eat i feel like i go through phases with vegetables like for like a year i was obsessed with green beans like grilled like on the pan green beans and then i've been obsessed with roasted broccoli and i think roasted broccoli has to take the win for me like i love the way it tastes like boiled veg just does not slap the same like at all like i don't know what it is about boiled veg i feel like boiling vegetables take out all the like goodness and all the flavor i want to do more like cook with me is because we actually really enjoy like making stuff from fresh like we've made orange chicken before you can't even get orange chicken in the uk which i think is crazy because when we go to america and canada and like you know when you're in the shopping malls and they have like the food court with all the food bits me and my sister always get orange chicken oh and orange chicken from the cheesecake factory is on another level so we were just like one day i was just like you know what? i'm craving orange chicken and we made it and it tasted so good hi there um, we really did it on mcdonald's Oh, you could have got me some, you bet. You've moved some things around. I haven't. Can you please pull that stuff? No, I can't. Go on, organise it. No. How you want to organise it? No, I need to um, go. It's Jay. Hey, vlog. How is everyone? Not great now that you're here. McDonald's. I got this candle. You smell it weird. Let me it's, smell. It's a Jane Blow. You're not going to like this because it's lavender. Ugh. Oh, be nice. no, that doesn't even smell like lavender. That smells horrid. I look so tragic. Um, I've just put my elastics in. I've just taken my makeup off because you no know need to wear makeup on all day, and then like it gets to some point where you're just like, you know what, I actually just need this off. So I just take my makeup off. Um, and I'm now just gonna get into bed and edit the video that I did today just so I've got something to upload tomorrow because I am really I really have been trying to upload twice a week. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna do that, and then head to bed and I will chat to you guys in the morning. Oh, my God.
That's fine, but my hair's wet. Did I ask about you? It's not a big deal. When did I say you? I said me. Hmm. Mm. Mm. She's making me sad. So, it's the next day, and me and my gorgeous little sister. No. <laughs> little sister. Why is the camera? Why is the camera like that? Oh my god. Fuck, my camera really is broken. Ignore my hair. I have coconut oil in my hair. I'm just doing coconut oil treatment. So if it's looking greasy and like really gross, that is why. Indian tings. Anyway, we are making. You smell like Annie we, Macken. Yeah, sprayed my and mouth for some right. We are making chicken, char grilled chicken, ramen, ramen, noodles. Mm, it's delicious and I haven't had this in a while so what you will need is obviously you will need chicken or tofu or whatever excuse how many nails I've lost by the way but yeah you'll need whatever meat substitute or whatever you protein protein, protein. protein are gonna be that's the one and then I have been looking for pak choy in Tesco's for ages now and they haven't been having it so I had to get choy some <laughs> it isn't really the same thing, but it kind of works as like a leafy something. Anyway, then we just got a tiny little packet of some tender stem broccoli. Yeah, that one. Spring onion. I'm sorry, this is a mini onion. Okay, okay. Some spring onion. 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 Some the udon thick, udon thick noodles, and then these meaty noodles. You're meant to have like the thinner ones in ramen, so that's what me and my brother are gonna have. But I prefer udon noodles, personally. And then you need chicken stock, like the basic also garlic, guys, ginger. I had um, a very rude comment on my Instagram saying, <laughs> you look so beautiful without your glasses. Why do you always wear them in Kim's vlog? It's because I'm blind. I am also. She we, is also blind. We are we the, have same the same blindness. We're minus two I just two like point. to wear them in the house where I can see. Quite clear. Sorry how loud my family is. Well, I'll take them off right now just for you. <laughs> I'm genuinely, I can't see, it's actually blurry. It is really blurry for me too, to be fair. But I can't be wearing glasses all the time, you guys. We'll get like, ew, it looks like Harry Potter. The key to this is char grilled chicken. Do we have the grill? Oh, look at our kitchen. Look at these beautiful daffodils that my auntie and uncle brought for us. Oh, by the way, if I didn't mention I've had a shower, that's why my hair's wet. No, your hair's greasy, don't I? Oh. So we're gonna make the broth What should we first? make the broth put in? Yeah. Probably that big one underneath. You need a big wok for this. I feel like we're, we're using this. Yeah. So we're gonna use two chicken stock things because we are making it for three people and you need like 1.25 liters of water in here. So get your boiling hot water, get your chicken stock pot, and you literally just pour. Can't even open it. Garlic and ginger, as for that, we've just got some pre-chopped garlic, just for ease. Okay, I don't know if we have any ginger, so maybe we'll skip that, because I don't really like ginger. Okay, then you need one tablespoon of soy sauce, but I'm gonna do two. It starts to turn like a really nice like, rocky color. So you just gotta let that simmer for a bit. Um, I'm not sure, Mum. I'm gonna, yeah. Right, I'm gonna chop up all your veg, ready to go in. So I've cut up this spring onion, which I cut up like four of these little things, all cut up. Then we've just got our broccoli, and then over here, my sister is cutting our choy sum up. So gorgeous. So guys, you then want to add your noodles, which I'm having thicker ones, they're having thinner ones, so I just separated them, and voila, here is the final result. I mean, I did kind of spill all my ramen everywhere, but that's fine, but it's honestly it's so, so good, I'm obsessed with this, so yeah, I'm gonna eat it. Morning everyone, so this morning we are going this morning we are going to be making a green juice, courtesy of Nicole. Just getting the ingredients up from our messages. From Nicole who inspired us to make this green juice. She said that she used a whole celery, two oranges, one apple and a quarter of a ginger. So I feel like I need the detox, you know? Green apples, celery, orange, orange. and ginger. 
manager. Also, I haven't straightened my hair today, and I feel like it looks I'm pretty yeah, good. Got your celery in there. I don't know. I really don't know if we're making this right. Yeah, honestly, I don't know if the proportions are right, but we're just gonna go with it. Here's what our green juice is looking like. I really hope we made this right, but I have a feeling we didn't. Let me see. Okay, okay, queen. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> you want to go mess? Very thick. Like, are they meant to be? To be fair, I would drink that every morning. I got my bitches down in Georgia. That's that shit. Yeah. Hi, guys. It is again a couple of days later i'm honestly a really bad vlogger these days i've just been forgetting to pick up the camera oh my God, do you know what i need to actually this is completely your topic but i need topic topic i need to start ordering like stuff for my bedroom because if you can hear the screaming in the background that is my brother playing the xbox that is the downside of having your room next to your brother's room is that you can literally hear like shouting until 2 a.m it's so annoying oh i need to actually start ordering stuff for my bedroom because at the moment right first of all let me tell you but basically i brought over my bedside tables from obviously the old house over just because i just needed like a sturdy bedside table for the time being and that little acrylic one wasn't cutting it anymore i want to get a king size duvet for my bed even though it's a double just because like you can see like that double like i don't like the way that it's not completely draping all the way down like i want it to be draping a lot also when like cousins sleep over and stuff which obviously when things are normal like my cousins literally sleep over all the time and a double duvet is just too small for two people sleeping in that bed in my opinion so i'm gonna get i'm gonna get a king size so i need to find some nice bedding i want to get some nice like decorative pillows but also kind of simple also one big thing that i need to get in this room is blinds because outside that window there are like a few houses out there it's been so annoying like trying to get changed in this room because like obviously they can see directly in like the house's windows are facing directly that window so i need to get some blinds i did originally want like sheer white like linen curtains but i'm definitely gonna need some sort of blind there as well it's fine because i just need it like i'm sick of not being able to get changed and like in my room with with the fear of someone like looking at me and obviously my old room like i would literally just walk around like in my underwear upstairs me and my sister because it was literally just us upstairs like we would walk around in our underwear and we wouldn't think twice about like if someone can see or not because obviously our window is slanted but it's even like some decorative bits that i need so i actually do have a few little updates to show you guys for my room i don't even know if i showed you my mirror that i got so let me show you actually let's ignore my tragic outfit at the moment but basically i got this mirror from lena mirrors and i thought i was really gonna like it because like it basically is frameless so it doesn't have a frame at all also, that is my towel drying for my shower earlier. Yeah, I thought I was going to really like it, but I actually... Because basically, I really wanted the Ikea Hove mirror, which literally everyone on the mother has. But I couldn't be bothered to wait that long to get it. So, I got this Lena mirror. Obviously, I love it because it's so wide and big. Like, I wanted a mirror which was, like, super wide. So, like, when you come up close, like, you can't see the edge of the mirror. And I know that Ikea, this is, like, the same size as the Ikea mirror, but obviously doesn't have the frame. But I just don't know if, like, it actually looks good in my room like without there being a frame on it like honestly let me know what you guys think but i also have this little mirror here so this is literally from home sense we obviously got this before like lockdown and everything um but basically i have got a new dressing table which basically my parents ordered a console table which they thought they were gonna like turns out they don't like it for the space and it turns out i really like it for a dressing table because it literally matches like the cupboards and the bed perfectly and i've been looking for a dressing table for literally ages now trying to find a nice one that i like this is just not gonna cut it anymore like literally look the leg has fallen off that again which i mean that's been broken for ages but do you know what i mean like this is not not cutting it it doesn't look good obviously i need to put in my decenio prints i need to find some new bedside tables new lamps because honestly like, what is that that is like broken so obviously i had these side tables which i've shown in the other moving vlog which are from zara and i think i'm gonna return one of them keep one of them just for this corner because i really do like this 
little feature. I'm not going to keep those books there. Just, they're just literally there for like time being. But like I've got my Jacquemus book. I recently, my parents went to Costco. So I asked them to get me the YSL um, catwalk book. So if you didn't know, you can actually get all of these from Costco. And they're like £10 cheaper at Costco. So yeah, I want to get like a big nice vase. You know those like ceramic vases which are like really cool shapes? I want one of them there. And then loads of pampas grass basically coming out to fill out this space. But what I'm struggling with is finding websites that sell really nice stuff. Oh my god, my laptop's just died. Great. But yeah, finding websites which have really nice stuff. Like obviously there's Zara vs H&M Home. But sometimes they just don't have like loads and loads of stuff to pick from. And yeah, I'm literally now just gonna probably end this vlog here. I don't even know like how much footage I have. Like honestly, I just don't know. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna end this vlog here. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!